The paper I'm about to present regards the project Material Traces of Prehistorical Human, uh, human Activity in Campinas Forest, carried out by State Archaeological Museum in Warsaw. Uh, the project is developed uh, on the base uh, of co uh, cooperation agreement signed on uh, 4th of July uh, uh, 2017 between Campinas National Park and State Archaeological Museum in Warsaw. Its main objective is the archaeological server of Campinas National Park grounds based on possibility of uh, white query using state-of-art technologies but most of all of archaeological site verification. Materials, or at least part of them, collected from the uh, sites in Campinas National Forest are stored in the State uh, Archaeological Museum, will be elaborated as well. In the future, there is a plan to elaborate on the object collected in the Museum of Mazovian Ancient uh, Metallurgy in Pruszkov. Uh, Campinas National Park is situated uh, in the center of Poland and pr uh, practically borders Warsaw agglomeration to the north. Uh, it is located on central Mazovian lowland between the left bank of Vistula River and Dura River. The park covers over uh, 38,000 hectares. The uh, area of the Campinas National Park uh, includes the Campinas uh, Forest. Campinas National Park is one of the major Polish lowland fauna sanctuary. Uh, it is estimated that the park is natural habitat of half, namely uh, of uh, 16 and half thousand native animal species. The biggest among the 50 mammal species is the moose, which is also a uh, symbol of the Campinas National Park. These animals were hunted to extinction in the middle of 19th century to be later reintroduced in the forest in 1951. Uh, today, their population uh, totals uh, 30, uh, um, 300 individuals. Uh, the most valuable park areas are under strict protection in 22 uh, protection zones. The biggest area, Sherakov, uh, is over um, 1,200 hectares. It's located just a few kilometers away from the Warsaw border. Campinas National Park was later um, founded on 16 January uh, 1959 due to natural values uh, and social importance in uh, the year of 2000. Campinas National Park, together with the protecting zone, was recognized by UNESCO as World um, Biospherical Reserve called Campinas Forest. Uh, the forest forms are clearly distinctive natural system. The forest territory compared to uh, neighboring uh, plains areas uh, is characteristic for its big mo morphological variety. Moving from the north to, uh, to the south, uh, there are current Vistula river bed and in uh, interflute bank area, which is marked on, uh, with red color. Uh, Vistula flood plains, uh, northern dune zone, northern uh, peat bog zone, southern dune zone, southern peat bog zone, and uh, ice and marginal valley bank and Łowicka, uh, uh, Łowicko Polska plains to the west and Warsaw plain to the east. Uh, the highest point uh, is situated near Opaleń next to eastern park border and it have uh, 100 uh, and six meters uh, above sea level, and the lowest is uh, uh, located in the western part of the northern peat bog zone, which is 68 uh, meters above, uh, above the sea level. The differences is, uh, in relative height between dunes, summit, and uh, almost flat peat bog zones uh, amount to uh, 30 meters. Uh, having made the, this introduction, I would like to bring forward to the project guidelines. Uh, its main objective is to uh, carry out archaeological survey on uh, Campinas National por uh, Forest uh, um, based on possibility wide query using state of art technologies. First stage uh, of the survey is field verification of archaeological sites located in uh, Campinas National Park, gr uh, grants, and regis uh, registered in a state archaeological museum. 
uh, objects from these sites were collecting, uh, collected during a survey done in interwar period or mm, they were finds reported in post-war period. Very often the location of these sites is limited to a very general uh, description which, is make, uh, which makes it, it very inaccurate. And the aim uh, of our work is uh, to locate sites known from the archives. A further state uh, would be analysis archives collected from uh, research uh, of another centers and museums. Uh, since uh, 1978, a research program called Archaeological Register of Poland, uh, systematical field working has been uh, imp uh, implemented in Poland. Mm, uh, the survey of, of this area was carried out by, by Stefan Wojda team, discovered uh, in mid uh, uh, 80s of 20 uh, uh, mid 80s of uh, 20th century, uh, discovering a few hundred sites from different period. Objects um, found in these sites uh, joined the collection to, uh, of the Museum of Mazovian Ancient Metallurgy in, Pr in Pruszków. Uh, at the point, uh, only open land habitats, fields, or meadows were explored. Uh, while uh, forests were ignored. Uh, this uh, was due to methodology guidelines uh, of the project. A part uh, of the discovered sites is uh, now covered mm, by forests. Uh, an uh, important query supplement is the LiDAR data analysis. We use already made visualization made for uh, two big projects, country uh, protection against extreme hazards called ESOC and uh, Campinas wet, uh, wet, wetlands. We are planning to recalculate the clouds uh, of points uh, um, uh, for our project, especially uh, areas not included in Campinas wetlands project. Uh, with uh, these tools, uh, we do not only want to find characteristic feature, but also predict places which might have been attractive for settlements uh, of perfect historical communities. Uh, the very important part of project, especially for us museum professionals, is science popularization. Uh, this is fulfilled during the, a number of ex excursions guided by archaeologists, uh, archaeologists and a research worker from the uh, park. The team of each trip refers to a different historical period or in some cases to historical monuments remaining and it's building a narrative uh, around historical parks and places. And emphasizing and showing the relation between the nature and human activities is particularly important, as well as showing changes in Campinas forest natural landscape over the years, both natural changes and those influenced by human activities. Uh, as the next, uh, as the next uh, part, uh, of my report, I shall present field work um, process in few cases. Uh, the field work uh, lasts for one year and was focused on uh, dune zones and their surroundings, mainly in the eastern part of Campinas Forest. The first group of sites uh, to be precisely located during the surveys known from archives or museum collections. Uh, case one is uh, Wuja Dune. Uh, uh, is a group of sites located around Muja in the uh, State Archaeological Museum archives in Womianki folder. There is a private letter signed by letters escape, probably uh, Stefan Krukowski, marked with date uh, 13 uh, January 1944. And closing sketch and the moment here is the plan of Wuja near Womianki site. In uh, State Archaeological Museum, there is no uh, data concerning uh, flint material, mainly out, um, author's interest, but there is uh, three flint collections registered as uh, Dombrovka. Uh, time, uh, but the time period between letters and the site discovery is uh, 19 years, uh, so um, there is no certainly whatever this, uh, th that was the same, uh, same sites. Uh, on the other hand, highly uh, improbable that uh, such field work was uh, carried out in 1944. Uh, there was World War II, of course. Uh, today, Wuja Dune is completely wooded and ground observation can be done only on small eroded fragments. Um, despite a few uh, attempts over the time, no material was found. And here we have the sketch which, which as, uh, I was talking about. Uh, here we have uh, uh, archive maps. 
uh, here we have uh, matched the uh, names of uh, these villages which is on the sketch. We have to, um, north is, as you see, uh, on the other uh, part of the sketch, and here is uh, um, probably places uh, which we uh, was talking about in uh, this letter. Uh, case two is um, another dune, it's called Gura Oiza, and in, uh, in uh, State Archaeological Museum collection there, uh, there is published, uh, there is a set of uh, one, 107 flints uh, object named uh, from uh, the name of Lasky village. The site, regi uh, site register card says Gura Oiza Dunes, 1955, a gift from a doctor from Lasky. However, there's some additional uh, information which uh, I found during this uh, study, this collection, uh, on the uh, labels. Mm. And first one say Lasky, Proszkov District, Gura Oiza, Dunes behind the institution for visually impressed, uh, site two. So um, I thought that is where it is where is site one in these cases. Uh, so uh, I find the second label on the same box of object that changes our view of the analyzed set. Lasky, Pruszkov district, Dune near a bus stop, institution for vi visually imp uh, impressed, site one. O okay, so I knew there is another site. We have here only one bus stop uh, and this time when uh, this uh, collection came to museum, so we know there is not one side, but two sides. Unfortunately, uh, I try uh, many times go uh, and uh, on Gura Oitsa Dune and uh, another dune near the bus stop. No, uh, uh, no of um, flint artifacts was found. And another case is biggest flint collection from Campinas Forest. Uh, from Grohale, um, and it, con it consists of almost 2,000 uh, flint objects. Uh, it's collection dating back to final Paleolithic. Um, unfortunately, based on uh, archive data, it is not possible to locate the site precisely. Uh, the only um, thing we are able to do based on labor description is uh, describe relation between particular clusters. In addition, there is some um, uh, value information on the relation between the site and the unspecified uh, dune or wetlands. The survey gives a great um, news for complex study of uh, highly interesting flint artifacts. Uh, the next project uh, objective is verified sites known from, from the uh, previous archaeological survey located in uh, Campinas National Park. A great number of sites registered in mid 80s uh, um, uh, mid 80th century were situated on fields or meadows. As a, re a result of uh, land uh, ac um, acquisition policy of the park, followed by uh, af um, um, afforestation of uh, these uh, acquired areas, today a large number of these sites are uh, covered uh, by uh, forest uh, of mixed age. Uh, I want to present two um, examples of uh, our per field verification. And first case is uh, Shirakov. Um, an example might be um, a, a case of uh, a Neolithic site in Shirakov. In mid 80s, it was located on a clear um, foreland of medium height dunes, neighboring a sandy uh, path uh, on uh, follow um, land today. Uh, it is covered by young forest. No objects have, have been found on this site. Uh, another case uh, is uh, site Kisova. It's known from the literature. The verification in mid is resulted collecting uh, more artifacts. Back then part um, of the site was covered by forest and remaining being uh, a follow land. Today, a young mixed forest grow here, uh, including a great number of oaks. During the second visit um, of Sandy Clearing, uh, we found a, a few ceramics fragment dating to Bronze Age, like uh, another um, uh, another object from this site. Uh, and this uh, uh, this uncovered were made by servants. Uh, in the forest uh, area studies, almost integral tools, leader analyzes. 
Uh, in our case, we have comfort of using two uh, open access visualizations. First is uh, ESOC, and another one uh, is uh, um, visualization made for Campinas Wetland Project. Even a, a, um, view analysis showed a great number of World War II monuments and possible military structures. Examples are shelters or uh, trenches. Uh, but we, uh, but using a lidar, yeah, we also um, uh, we also uh, uh, great. Um, we have also great uh, visualizations show um, details of already known facilities like ammunition depot in Palmyra or uh, Zamczysko stronghold from 13th century. Uh, a number, uh, also a number of mounds have, have been distinguished. Uh, some of them probably barrels, but without verifications, it's not possible to determine their functions. It is planned, as I say before, uh, to recalculate your data, uh, obtaining using LIS scanning, especially, especially for this project. Uh, popularization, as I mentioned previously, is crucial to us. It is uh, in, uh, implemented during Satur uh, Saturday's excursion organize, uh, organized for all interest and uh, participation. Uh, uh, the idea is to show uh, things that cannot be observed in the first glance, as well as uh, combined the nature rela related uh, and historical archaeological tour. So far, two events of this kind have been uh, organized. Uh, and uh, their times uh, deliberated, chosen. There were two, periodic, uh, uh, two periods chrono chrono chronologically far from each other. First one is a Mesolithic, and another one is uh, uh, um, about interwar. Uh, the Mesolithic team excursion led around uh, Ujava Gura Parabolic Dune and similar, uh, similarly named Peacock during what Mesolithic archaeology in the park was discussed, including Palo, uh, Palo uh, environment, uh, fauna, house structures, and their traces, uh, as well as the object dating um, to this period. Uh, we have also um, archer, uh, archery and uh, flint mapping presentation. Uh, as the second uh, team, we have chosen ammunition depot uh, in Palmyra, active between uh, 19, uh, 1929, 1939. Its remaining are known, um, uh, but our idea was to show them as a group of uh, dependent facilities. To, co uh, to cooperate with us, we invited Professor Zbigniew Tucholski from Institute of Science uh, of uh, History from uh, Polish Academy of Science, an expert on railway and uh, contemporary uh, history, and Dr. Colonel um, Krzysztof Gajk, who presented a course of the tank battle um, of Pociecha in 1939. The excursion route led around the railway and bank of ammunition depot uh, against uh, in Palmyra. Uh, in further um, in, uh, further future survey uh, uh, continuation is planned. Uh, with time, um, we are planning to verification using metal detector, especially the areas. Uh, with, with uh, previously re registered notification, for example, made by foresters. We have um, also intent to carry out test trenches or drills, although this might be required consulting with the park staff re uh, responsible for environment protection. We should also be willing to cooperate with paleobotanics, geologists, and uh, geomorphologists. Finally, I would like to emphasize excellent cooperation with Campinas National Park, both research uh, scient uh, uh, scientists and field workers who are uh, keenly interested in our project, but also provide us with va va valuable information. Thank you for your attention. <laughs>